how's it so getting rich it's actually gonna get easier why this is not something I wish to happen but this is a trend that I see happening and so my idea is that in future first the richer will get richer the poorer will get poorer but probably not for the reasons that everyone screams and I'm not going to get all under conspiracies, etc. I want to I wanna try and avoid that um, as much as possible. But what I will say is, we need to look at a few trends. Number one, when, one of the reasons that I think, that I say, the richer will get richer, the poorer will get poorer is because of the material of people that are being raised. So, long story short, we are raising, and I'm summarizing here, we're raising the type of material of people who, and it's been happening and it's just becoming more and more prominent and worse. So, we're raising types of people that one are not fans of education, whether it's conventional, whether it's unconventional, they are not fans of education, right? They are fans of attention. They are fans of expression, but not fans of education, right? So that's the first reason. The second reason is that is then going to lead to a lot of people not being able to deliver a lot of value or a lot of anything in that sense. And in turn, will become consumers because they'll need to know something and they won't be able to do it. And I'm saying that this is, is not something that starts now. It's been happening for at least a generation, if not two, but it's really becoming more and more now. Where do you see this? You see this when you're sitting with someone and someone says, this computer doesn't do what, there's something wrong with the computer. And you say, what's wrong? And they say, I don't know, it just says blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say anything, right? And so basically they're too lazy to actually read the messages for, for what they know. The, the message might be saying the file's not there or whatever, but they're too lazy to read the message. And the list goes on to, that's that was something mundane, but it, it also then leads on to more important things like how many people actually know what a budget is. Not have heard of a budget what a budget is, or how do you budget, or how do you save, or how do you invest, or um, how do you sort out your finances, what is economics, how do you actually f create a CV, how do you fill in a CV so that it makes sense, how do you fill in forms, the list goes on and on and on, but more and more people are actually failing to do such things, to the point where some are failing to actually write correct grammatical English, right? And so what this does is, it basically says less and less people are going to know more and more general things. And more and more people are going to know more and more what I'd like to call temporary information. So, trends, um, I don't know, soccer players, etc. Things that are really going to become insignificant in about a month to a year, right? And so what that's going to do is it's going to create a bunch of people who know a lot of information <laughs> that is quickly futile and few people are going to actually learn something that can continue to be used even after a year now the reason again I'm, I'm even going all the way back to this is imagine you walk into a place and you say I don't know how to fix a car right that's something that's current a lot of people have no idea how to fix cars, right? If you go back to like our dads, they fix their own cars. So, one, what is your car? What's wrong with your car? I don't know what's wrong with my car, okay? What sound does it make? Like, that's how far back they have to go. What sound does it make? Explain what it does so the person kind of figures it out. I'm sick. What's wrong? I don't know. Explain the symptoms. 
And what's eventually going to happen is you're going to get to a point where someone comes up and, you, and they're going to say, I have no money. And you'll go, okay, why? It just disappears. We hear that a lot. Okay, do you budget? That's basically what you're going to get. <laughs> so then it'll be eventually, what is that budget? Right. And again, as I say, the list goes on. Um, we've got people that still can't use computers, right? And again, not talking about people who are 60, I'm talking about people who are like 30. And not people that are from an area where there are no computers and no AA. People from like a township. Right? How do you not know how to use a computer when you have access to a library with free computers? Ignorance, right? Again, this is not an attack, but it's an analysis saying this is the average trend. Same people can tell you, one, what is the current number one track? Which is going to be useless because within the next month, it's no longer going to be number one. Who is the current and the biggest artist with the biggest hit? In about six months, it's going to be pointless, right? Which song was played last year, whatever, pointless? Who is the biggest person on TikTok? Pointless. Who is the biggest person on YouTube? Pointless. Right. Um, who did, I don't know, um, Nicki Minaj date? Pointless in about six months. And so a lot of people are focusing on that stuff. And so, as I say, it's going to get to a point where the necessities, things you should know, you're not going to know. And then the next rich are going to know. And so that's where I think that a lot of the wealth, the yeah, people are going to come from. And then, because of, again, our great economy, the gap between the rich and the poor is going to get bigger and bigger. So one day, go back to this video, <laughs> one day we'll wake up and we're going to have a lot of rich, we're going to have a lot of poor people who know Jack, right? Because... For their entire life, they were studying something that kept expiring. I like to call it, I like to call it information which expires. Information which expires, right? So, for 30 years, this person's been studying, learning information that expires in about 6 months. Right? So, at the age of 30, they've got a whole lot of expired information. They can tell you who Nicki Minaj once dated. Except Nicki Minaj might be irrelevant at that point. See? Pointless information. Then they're going to not be able to, I know, form a CV. So what are they going to do? Go to that person. Can you type a CV out for me? I have to pay for it. Go to that person. Can you fix my car? I have to pay for it. Go to this person. Can you um, market my brand? I have to pay for it. Can you XXX and you will and I will Y one, two, three, right? And so you've got that situation going. These people are paying these people for the information, skills and knowledge, and these people have jack. If however you you you, you somehow get lucky and you sort it out, you can kind of move to these people. But again, a lot of and I'm saying this. A lot of people are going to get poor. And then, now, again, so how much rich are these people going to get than these? Yeah, that's next. I don't want to make this more than 10 minutes. Just.